everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Incredible Women of Motorcycling History. Today I'm proud to introduce you to Dot Robinson, America's first lady of motorcycling. Dot was actually not born in the U.S. She was born in Melbourne, Australia in 1912 into a motorcycling family. Her father, Jimmy Goulding, invented the Goulding sidecar. When Dot was 11 years old, her family moved to Michigan where her dad opened a Harley-Davidson dealership where she ran for several years. When Dot um, was 16 years old, she got her first motorcycle. She was raised in the business and actually worked in the shop doing the books, where she met her husband, uh, customer Earl Robinson, used to come in, and the two uh, had a whirlwind motorcycling adventure romance, um, got married, and did lots of riding together. Uh, Dot had her first, won her first trophy in 1930 for some competitive sidecar endurance races. She did lots of gypsy tours and things like that, where she was the only woman competitor. There weren't any women's competitions up until uh, classes until 1960s. Um, Dot had her daughter, Betty. Uh, and the story I got from Betty was that, I don't know, they didn't take a car. Maybe they didn't have a car. Uh, to the hospital when she was born, but when she came home from the hospital in the sidecar, uh, wrapped in a blanket, up in the nose of the sidecar next to a hot water bottle. Uh, Betty started riding also at age 16. It became her mom's riding companion. Uh, they went all over the country. They were featured in Life magazine articles. Um, in 1935, uh, Dot and Earl opened up a Harley-Davidson dealership, which they ran until 1971. Um, Dot was well known for many, many years for all her things done with motorcycle, but most famously was the mo uh, her uh, uh, the motor mates. In 1939, her friend Linda Dugo uh, encouraged her, let's start a club for women motorcyclists. And so Dot rode all over the place trying to find women who owned and rode their own motorcycles. And in 1941, she had uh, 53 women signed up to be charter members of the motor mates. Dot was the first president of the club, um, an office she held for over 25 years. Uh, she set many, many records, did many rides. Her and Earl did transcontinental sidecar endurance rides. Um, the whole family was really into motorcycles. Um, Dot had ridden over 1.5 million miles in, um, over the years, and she owned 35 Harley-Davidson motorcycles. Uh, she was in uh, had been awarded the prestigious Dud Perkins Award in 1979. In 1998, she was inducted into the AMA's Hall of Fame. Uh, she passed away in 1999, but her legacy lives on through the motor maids, uh, and her great, I mean, sorry, her granddaughter, Dottie, named after her, is a member of the motor maids and a really cool person, too. So I just wanted you to know a little bit about Dot Robinson. Uh, there's more about her on the web. Or you can look her up in my book, uh, The American Motorcycle Girls, 1900 to 1950. Thanks.